Hello and welcome, I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 6 p.m. wrap, a rundown of today's top story. The House of Representatives approves the proposed Bangsamora Basic Law or BBL at a vote of 50-17 to 1. Lawmakers delete provisions for a titular head, a list of indigenous groups that could qualify for the Bangsamoro Parliament, and the Chief Minister's ability to create protocols for the Bangsamoro Armed Forces. <music> Philippine Senate President Frank Delon's net worth increased the most in 2014 based on the Statement of Assets, Liabilities, and Net Worth, or the sell and submitted by senators. Drilon's wealth declaration jumped from 58.14 million pesos in 2013 to 73.13 million pesos in 2014. Alleged human trafficker Maria Cristina Serio says she believes Mary Jane Veloso is innocent. Serio says, I firmly believe Mary Jane Veloso was a victim and was taken advantage of because she didn't know any better. Serio turned herself over to police the same day Veloso was scheduled to be executed in Indonesia. A United States Marine testified Tuesday that fellow Marine Joseph Scott Pemberton admitted he might have choked a transgender woman to death. At the witness stand, Jaren Michael Rose recalled Pemberton telling him, I think I may have killed a he-she. Pemberton's accused of killing Filipino transgender woman Jennifer Laude last October. Is it possible to find the next boxing great in prison? A pro amateur boxing card happens Saturday at the Cebu Provincial Detention and Rehabilitation Center. The show will also be open to the public, but they will be segregated from the prisoners. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Maria Ressa. Remember, tomorrow begins today.